All right, now let's start to make our DVD and Blu-ray discs look more spectacular. And one thing that we all love is a nice transition. And the word transition can be really misconstrued. We don't mean your typical barn door wipe kind of transition. We mean some kind of animation that takes us from one menu to another menu. And Encore works hand in hand with After Effects. In fact, it uses something called Dynamic Link. And what Dynamic Link is, it's a background communication between the two programs. If you've ever done this kind of work in the past, you know that you have to render out a movie, wait, import it, only to change it later. What's cool about this solution in CS5 is that you leave everything live and make changes whenever you want. Let's have a look. Here we are in Encore. This is our main menu. In here we have a scene selection button and that takes us to this menu, the scene menu. When you have this scene menu selected, on the right hand side in your properties bar, this transition area allows us to choose a different movie. And you'll notice here I've got something with a .aep. This is an After Effects composition that's linked to this particular button. And you can do that simply by selecting a menu and choosing Create After Effects Composition. When you do this, Encore is going to give you a save dialog box. And the reason it does that is it needs to copy this Photoshop menu because you're going to make changes. You can't have the same Photoshop menu as your menu and another one as your animation. So it's just a nice little happy thing that happens. Save it somewhere else. From here, we're also going to open up this Photoshop file that's used in the scene menu. And we'll open them both in After Effects. So here we are at the beginning, and here we are at the end. The idea is to create some kind of an animation that makes a transition between menu one, menu two. It could be something as simple as move the whole menu from one side to the other, or just fade it out. Um, and remember that, that this is made up of buttons, and in our case, a bunch of different pieces of artwork that has already been separated from the background. So we've got great control here. I'll show you what I've set up. I'm just going to manually drag our timeline along here so you can see what happens. So you see the first thing that happens is the menu fades at the top. Our hero will turn into particles. And then our mage or the wizard on the other side is just going to have a fast blur. And then we're going to start to use our typical film uh, burn and that gets rid of that bottom layer. So if we go back here, we, we can really see uh, four different things our menu, the hero, the mage, and the background. And I've got those set up with, with different effects here. Scatterize is the uh, hero. He starts to scatter into all of these particles. And you can see the keyframes that I have set up. We don't really have time to go through all this stuff in, in After Effects. You can get really creative. And by the way, we've got tons of presets inside here. So if you're not great with After Effects, make sure you check out the animation presets. And when we bring in our next menu, I'm going to drop the top menu down, just changing position. And then we'll film burn in our hero and then drop down the spaceship. So we end up with that animation from one to the other. And because this is the After Effects composition, it's going to update automatically back in Encore. So any changes you make over there are going to instantly update inside here. And the final result will be a movie. That's what will play when you push that scene button on your DVD or Blu-ray player. Because there's no such thing really as animated buttons. It's just going from a static menu to a video to another menu. And let's look at the final result. So here is our DVD. There's our play button. When I click on the scene selection button, you can see it does a nice transition back to the beginning. It's that easy to set them up. And remember, dynamic link is the part that's running in the background communicating effortlessly between After Effects and Encore. Let's get your Blu-ray discs on.